Greetings everyone, it's Alex again with even more D4 news because that campfire was absolutely insane. They're dropping so much new stuff in this game with 2.0. It's literally a new reworked Diablo. And one thing I want to mention because the progression system confused a bunch of people, but Mats Katage over here, uh, also known as Ponyhof, great guy by the way, check him out. Um, much bigger streamer than I am. Streams D4 a lot, makes guides for it. Great guy, definitely check him out. There he is. P4 Orni, Ornihof, there he is. Um, check him out. And he actually made a great TLDR, so I'm just going to use this to explain to you as well. Because some people were confused about it. The new progression system. First of all, 60 is now your max level for your character, right? No level 100 anymore, it's 60 now. After that, you get your Paragon points, but you don't level up in rank anymore. You just get your Paragon points, okay? So 60 is the max. What we will be seeing, I guess, from now on is just going forward. Actually, this is not even in center properly. Going forward, we will see each expansion will add 10 more levels. That's most likely how it's going because Blizzard always did this. But there's a bunch of changes, so let's go over it. 1 to 50 is still in normal to hard mode. So you can now choose a difficulty, uh, four difficulties in just leveling the first 50 levels, okay? It's just your, your standard thing. And 50 to 60 is penitent difficulty. That's already harder. And 60 is then your max level. And there's also a huge jump in items. With level 60, you can enter the pit. The pit is now your progression system. The pit now tells you how strong your character is, how far you are in your progression. This is sort of your, your scale where you measure it against. If you beat the pit 20, by the way, the pit only goes to level 100 now, not 200. And level 100 is roughly like 200 was before, so the level increase is tougher. If you beat pit 20, you can enter torment 1. Torment 1 turns the whole world, every activity into torment 1 difficulty. And you will also now start dropping ancestral items. There are no sacred items anymore. They were ditched. They are gone. Nobody used them anyway. From World Tier 3. That sucked. So now we have only ancestral items and the item power is 800 is now the highest. Because I always thought that 925 is always a bit weird. Whatever. 800 is the highest now. You can still Master Rectum 1212 and they have two tempering slots. That's the same. Before Torment 1, before you get into Pit 20, 750 is the highest and only one temple slot. So you gotta get into Torment 1 at least. And after that you also get Torment 2, Torment 3 and Torment 4. Which is sort of the highest difficulty where it's really tough. So the highest pit level will be in Torment 4. So think about it this way. 1 to 50 is now just you can choose the difficulties between normal and 3 more I think. Then you go into Penitent to get to 60. And after that it's basically the end game we had before. Just that you now use the pit to sort of measure against. And this sort of gives you the, the idea. What I like is now that the pit actually now gives the glyph level ups. All right? In the pit, at the end, when you did the pit run, you can level up your glyphs. That is great because I like that because you will play the pit anyway now because it's your measurement. And that means you will automatically just by playing the progression of the game increase your glyphs. It's not like before where you had to do the Nightmare Dungeons which were sort of off your regular playstyle just to level up your glyphs. It was an extra thing you had to do, but now it's sort of in the same flow as the game itself. So that is great. But it also means I'm gonna make a video about the glyphs itself um, as well. I wanna make a bunch of smaller videos for everyone who's interested in the certain things instead of one big one. Maybe I throw them all together, who knows? But that's sort of how this works. The Nightmare Dungeons now actually have the Masterwork materials, as he says correctly. And this has been changed, basically switched out. Um, I mean, they, they made it great that in the Nightmare Dungeons, it's not just that you have to finish it and the end boss will give you a ton of materials, also just killing elites while running through the Nightmare Dungeons will give you Masterwork materials. So it sounded to me a lot like in the campfire that it's actually going to be faster for you to get your Masterwork materials, which is great because right now it's a very tedious, unnecessary, annoying grind to get your items up to 12-12 and then they're going to brick anyway. <laughs> you know how it is. So that's going to be easier now going forward. So I like that. Again, it switched. Um, I would have enjoyed if the pit also gave you Master Rig materials as it did before. So you can do both in that. But then of course, why would you play the Nightmare Dungeons? So I guess the idea is you want to still keep that. But just so keep in mind, 60 is now your max level. The end game starts from the pit 20 because then you get into torment 1. This is where you actually drop the best items. Before that you don't, before that you're still leveling. And you can get up to 
torment 4 which is the highest and the, where the bosses or the enemies are the strongest and of course the higher you go the better your gold is your drop chance for items difficulty etc very simple i like this it streamlines it all a little bit glyphs go to level 100 now pit goes to level 100 um, it's all sort of set at the same 100 levels so everything makes it it's all made a bit easier i hope this helped you to understand that if any more questions post them below